Hey everybody. <clears throat> Sorry, I had some technical difficulties today. I think I forgot how to do this after almost two weeks of not. Hi Ramona, hi Glum. I'm back from Puerto Rico and my cruise. It was so much fun. And then we got home and my daughter said, it's going to be um, hailing and the school was called off today. There was a two hour delay. Hi, Charlotta. Hey, Elaine. Hi, Sharon, Carol. Sub-Zero. Wait a minute. Where are you? Liverpool. Sub-Zero? I didn't know it got like that. Hey, Angie. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresita. I think you're driving, but hello. Hey, Leslie. Oh, thanks, everybody, for welcoming me home. We had such a nice time. I had all these thoughts of doing a live. I, I think I just did one, but uh, I did no crafting at all except to write down where we were each day because on our cruise, we stopped at an island every day and you just think, oh, how hard could that be? But like, they're all beautiful and similar, but they all have their kind of own flavor too. So we did some little excursions. It was so much fun. But now it's December 15th and I'm home and I was furiously ordering, not furiously, but in a, in a rush, ordering a bunch of things to be delivered before Christmas um, presents and things like that. I did try to get a lot done, but, uh, you know, it's never what you think. Thank you, Kathleen. I'm glad to be home, too. It's nice. It's nice to be here. but. It was also nice there. It was so pretty. It was 85 and we were on the beach yesterday. And today it's like 30 and it's rainy and cold. Hi. I know, Leslie. I was panicking too. Minus three, Karen, in Scotland. Wow. Hey, Janie Jane. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Mona. Good to see you. All right. Well, we do have, I wanted to do this project because I've been thinking about it. I have all these recipes that are in different cookbooks and different places. And I, I just wanted to keep them together, like Christmas cookies mainly, because there were some that we always made when we were kids. And um, we used Betty Crocker, you know, the red plaid cookbook. So I kind of wanted to put all those in one spot. Hi, Karen. Yes, the class with Teresita was amazing. Those guys were so much fun. And if you are here, friends, welcome, because I told them they should join our group. And I approved, I think, four people today. So I hope that uh, you guys had a good time. And uh, yeah, it was it was very fun. The whole trip was fun, but especially to meet Teresita in person and her husband, Joe, and uh, we all went to dinner. It was really nice. I got back from California last night. Frantically. That was the word I was trying to say. Not furiously. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean, Ter uh, Teresa. Oh, appliances being delivered. Well, that sounds good. Maybe. <laughs> Get them hooked up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, today what I want to do is I want to make a recipe box using this die. It's called the treasure box. And this was out maybe two or three years ago. And it's a really good one. It holds index cards. And so I had, I think I got them either at a thrift store or an estate sale or something. I have a pack of vintage uh, like dividers. So I thought I would put them in there and then I just have a pack of recipe cards. So what I thought I would do is just basically photocopy these um, cookie recipes and a couple other things and put them in on the recipe cards. That's my thought. You need to get Christmas together. Me too. And I'm trying to decide if I need to put up a tree because we're going to be at my daughter's. And it's like, and then my husband on the trip found out he's going away Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So I don't know. If we don't get it done, I'm not going to worry about it. But I really kind of want one. Um, the other die that we're going to use is, or I'll not die. This is the embossing folder and 
This is the new one, the silverware. And I thought that would be a perfect one. And when I held it up, it fits perfectly. So I'm going to kind of experiment with this because I decided to do it in brown, kind of like vintage because my, you know, my index cards are kind of brownish. So, I mean, my dividers. So I thought that I would make it kind of, um, you know, antique looking. So I have a couple ideas that I want to try and I hope you will stick around and see how they work or not. Uh, so basically that is what I want to do today. Also just, um, I just want to say Mitziana, you know, our hearts are all with you. Um, Mitziana lost her dad a couple days ago. And, um, so I know a lot of us know how hard that is, especially at she's young, you know. So um, we're thinking about you, Mitsiana, and uh, send our our thoughts and prayers to you and your family. Um, also, what else? I wanted to say. Um, oh, we have the retreat in. February, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, and that is in Dallas-Fort Worth, and that's with Bellacraft Publishing. I'll be teaching four workshops there, and we'll be using the new dies, so if you want to come and kind of get a, your hands on there. Also, I will be doing a pre-sale on the new set, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when they're going to get here yet, but it'll be around the first of the year, and we're having our release party uh, January 3rd. That's a Tuesday. Uh, we'll have it at um, 12 o'clock, like we usually do. Yay! <laughs> Leslie's excited. Okay, you're skipping Christmas altogether. Less stress. I. It's true. I know. Uh, you can hear me, maybe because you're driving. They will not allow the sound. Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll see you later. Uh, Teresita... Yeah. Hi, Keisha. How are you? Yeah, it's not stress. I mean, I do like having a tree and the kids will like it. That's the main thing. But I'm not sure how many kids I'm going to see over Christmas. So, um, yes. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get along here. All right, let's get moving. So I did have some technical issues. I hope this is going to work. But I found out what was causing that little echo and it was that my headphones were not synced i don't know why they got unsynced but i synced them back up and i think we're good i don't hear any echo i'm very excited or screaming or any of that those bad noises so uh, i think that i am going to just turn the camera down and we will get going so let's see what we got here uh Wait a minute. All right. Forgot how to do this. <laughs> All right. We'll get this figured out. Okay. There we go. So many chords. Um, let's see. My room is a mess. I've been trying to do laundry all day. You know how it is when you come home from a trip. Not good. But at least we had the trip. So I'm happy about that. Let me just get these chords gone here. And so I already cut one. Now I used brown mat board. So use what you have. If you have the white and you want to do it on white or black or chipboard, whatever you want to do. Uh, I do have a couple to show you that are very easy. Other ones that I made. Um, this is one that I actually use with my passwords. I have my classes, all kinds of stuff in here, family things. This was another um, pack of index card dividers but I just switched them around so that's one I painted this with Mod Podge so it didn't get dirty because I do use it a lot but it's kind of streaky but that's all right I kind of like it so I did that one and then at the same time I did bright ideas but <laughs> as you'll see I didn't have so many bright ideas but what I do want to show you is how I did this closure here, because there's a couple ways that you can close this. We're going to put one together. These are just some doodles that I did um, with white pen. I really like to write on the black uh, board or paper because I love how that white stands out. That's nothing great, but it was just kind of fun. And so I did that one. 
treasure box was around January 2019. Okay. Oh, thanks, Janie. Jane, I thought it was around there. Okay, here's another one that I made. This one I covered with uh, what do you call it? wallpaper, and I covered the inside, which I think looks kind of pretty. Um, that's just with, I don't know what paper that was. And here I used the hinges that came on the die, and these I bratted in to the board you know, to keep them strong. And I covered this with lace. And this is the uh, surfaces. And these are really nice for making hinges because they don't degrade over time. If you had matte board here with the bending, eventually that would kind of come off. So I, and plus I like that it's thin. Um, the thicker matte board, you know, you have more of a um, dimension to it. So, and then this is kind of handy for my closure. Now today, what I was going to do was a different kind of closure, which is to put supports in here and let it kind of rest inside the box. So we're going to do that today, and uh, let's get going on it. The other thing that I found were these cute little knobs, but the problem that I have, and I think all I need to do is find myself a, and I have one, a jewelry saw jewelry what do you call that thing a hacksaw but these are always so deep these little see these screws they're so long and then they go into whatever it is you have in the box which i don't like so i need to figure that out so i might put that on i think those are kind of pretty you know i got these at tj maxx they were like i don't know ten dollars for six i used one somewhere so that was uh kind of my thought here so, hey everybody. Hi Lee. Oh good. I'm glad you're here. Hey Cindy. Hi Laura and Laura. Michigan Laura's are in the house. So, and then my other thought was I got, you know, I have my folder and I found some paper that kind of matched and I wanted to try a technique that Lisa Hole had done. Uh, on one of she did it on a card and she rubbed her embossing folder with ink and then she ran it through and it gave such a cool texture and I wondered how it would work kind of tone on tone so that was the other thought that I had after we're done constructing the box so I have one here so again this is the die and um, let me show you what it looks like mine I don't know what I got on it, but it's like, I think I sprayed it with paint. I don't know if you can see this. Let me, I have a light here. I don't know if that helps or not. Can't really tell. But what, what we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna cut is another piece of brown. So I used the brown mat board like right here. And you could just use your white and add paper to it, however you wanna do it. So this is the base and also the top. So you need to cut two of them. And then these are the sides, the bottom part, and this is the top part. So you need to cut them. And then these are the little handles and the latch, you know, uh, hinges. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, do another one. Okay, so let's get our big shot here. Let's need the mouse. And here is my mat board. Now, one thing about this mat board, I think this is a nicer quality. So I'm hoping that it works because actually the less expensive mat board really works better. And I don't know why, but it just does. So we'll see what happens with this. So let's cut this. Come on forward a little bit. I can't see what was going on there. So how is everybody? Did you miss me? Hey, Mitziana. We were just um, sending you our good thoughts and, and sorrow, uh, you know, feeling, um, sending our sympathy. I'm sorry. I'm doing two things at once. And I uh, hope you're doing okay. It's so hard to lose a parent. Oh, okay. Mom is at my sister's, so she seems to be doing okay right now. That's good. All right, so we have 
that. And then I'm going to keep this because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. But I'm going to kind of tear that off there. So let's put this together. Oh, I'm missing you too, Teresita. We had so much fun. <laughs> Lots of laughs. Uh, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll tell you, I haven't put one together in a while. So we're going to take these and we're going to fold over on all the score lines and just get these ready. Fold over, fold over. This feels pretty crisp, actually. Feels good. Maybe this is not the good quality map board. I, usually I can tell by the whiteness of the core, but I didn't notice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to assemble these by adhering all four sides together so you can line them up like this and this is how they go and when we put our boxes together this is going to be the base we're going to have the bottom here and then this is going to be the top so these meet up they do not sink into each other they don't notch in um, sometimes people get confused about that but that's how they work they're just going to meet okay all right, so let's put these together. I'm just going to use tape, and you could do our little method of peeling off the paper so you don't have the bulk, but it's faster if we just do it this way. So I'm going to do that. As long as you keep it the uh, you know consistent, you're good. Hi, Charlotta. She did have a very cool class. Oh, there's Angie. Hey, Angie. I don't know if that's Angie from class or... We had a police officer who was Angie, if that's her. And I do believe that was the first time I had somebody come in wearing a gun. That was exciting. No, it was really fun class. All right, so I'm just covering these two. Just get them so they're even. Don't press them down until you have it right. Okay, you just want to keep your top flat because that's going to be the top of the box. All right. Oh, I guess it is her. Come back. <laughs> it's you. Oh, good. Hi, Angie. I found out that Angie had done a shift and then came to class. It's like, good Lord, that's, that's dedication. I'm so glad to meet you, Angie. All right, so now we have the base put together pretty much. We're just gonna put this on the bottom on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this red line tape and this is what I like to do is kind of connect all of these pieces here, go around the corner. There are two reasons. One is I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to have to cut it. And But the other thing is that will help the bottom to stick together like this. And I loved seeing what the fan club was doing while I was gone. Guys, we're going to town, but you have the pressure of Christmas, which I should have had, but I didn't because I was having too much fun. Well, we will have fun. We're going to go be with all the kids, so that's always interesting. All right, then I'm going to peel this off. See, just one, one strip. And then we're going to add our bottom. And you can kind of jiggle that around, make sure you get it square. And then you're going to turn it over and press. 
You can use your bone folder or just your hand. And if you want, if you don't like how that looks, you know, having that, you can go and put another piece of paper in there or something to cover that if you want. It was just unnecessary. You needed that time with your crafty friends. Yes, you did. We all need that. All right. I, you can also do it before you put it together if you want. You could do it like this. And then just leave it and it will also, you know, hook up. But I have to cut it here so I can add this piece. So this is going to be our top. So, yeah, we got home at, well, it was 10 o'clock, what would have been our time in Puerto Rico, but it was 9 o'clock here, and I just, I had to go to bed. It was a long day of travel, but it really went pretty well. Read a book, and then we got home. I was going to do laundry. I did kind of organize the wash, but I didn't do it. And I'm going to peel this off, and then I'm going to add the other one. And I didn't bend these, but that's okay. All right. Well, that was fun. I watched Karen Beers doing the video. She did a great job. That was fun. She came in and did some Etsy orders, so thank you to Karen. And we have a new blog post going up tonight, so thank you to Lisa and team for doing that. And we're back in business. The Etsy shop is still going, so if anybody needs anything, just let me know. This is... I think one of my favorite dyes, but then I say that about many of them. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with the other rectangle. All right, I've got to find the end of that. How long did it take to get rescued when the tour bus broke down? Not, well, maybe half an hour. It, it was not very dramatic. I mean, we just sat there. They had free drinks. <laughs> the guys were like, I'll take another beer. And they didn't have any Diet Cokes, which I was mad about, but I had to drink water. So, But we sat there. But the beautiful thing was there were no bugs. So we just sat there on the bus. We were talking to people, and, you know, nobody really cared. Maybe a half an hour, but it wasn't bad. And we still kept going to all the places that the guy told us that we were going to go. So we got a bonus, if you think of it that way. Okay, so look at that. We've got our little box. And the good thing is all of these meet up, so it's going to exactly match. All right. So now, there are a couple ways you can put it together. You can use these little hinges. You can put them on the back. Uh, actually like this, so you'd have to paint that or put some paper on the back because you want it to bend this way, you know. So that that works like that, you know. And now I bratted mine in. You don't have to. Uh, you could glue them on. That'll work. I did use the, uh, what do you call that stuff, you know, the surfaces, and I like that. The other thing that you can do, and what I think I'm going to do for this one, is I'm going to add these little pieces here. I'm going to glue them in so that when I set this on, it's going to notch right in. Okay, So that's why I said to keep these other pieces here so we can use them as little, you know, these notch things. I don't know what you want to call them, but uh, I'm just going to take... this and they don't have to be exact because they're you know kind of hidden up here that also kind of hides your joins here that one was a little long so i'm just kind of eyeballing these 
and then I'm just going to glue them inside, you know, about the same distance. Now these are kind of fuzzy, so I'm just going to take a sanding block and clean them off. And why did we not get another? Oh, this would work. So we use this one. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Now we do have this here, so just be aware. And I think I'm going to glue these so I have a little more leeway. If Oh, good. My glue is working today. All right. You don't need a big lip. I guess that's what I would call it. You know, just a little bit. Just keep it even. And hi, Carrie Porter. How are you? Your favorite? It disappeared on you. Uh oh. So, are you guys ready for Christmas? I'm not. But I'm getting there. I'm not that bad. I knew ahead of time, so I tried to do some, but I'm always behind. So that's not unusual. So I just feel normal. <laughs> you can wipe that off if you want, but that's going to dry clear, so don't worry. And this is not a very big lip, but let's see how it works. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so we have this. I'm going to put this little notch on the top so you don't see it. Oh, wait a minute. It's supposed to be on this side. Oops. Oh, well, my hands are already going to get dirty because we're going to use luster wax. So, Well, we might use luster wax. I don't know. That was my first thought. And my second thought was to try this cool embossing idea that Lisa did. So we'll see which one wins. Hmm. I don't know how even that is, but that's all right. I'm going to sand this one down. No checks for grandkids, thank goodness, for Amazon. <laughs> Do you have any videos with the next chapter releases yet? No, well, I can't really put those out yet, Ramona, because they don't release until uh, January 1st. So I have to start on it, but I'm not, I can't show them yet. I showed what they looked like a couple videos ago, though. So if you want to peek at them, can go back and look. All right, let's see. Yeah, cute. All right, I, I do want to let this set for a minute. And so what I probably should do is put some clips on. Should have done that when I started. That's okay. As you can see, I'm like in kind of the, the island mode of, eh. well, let's say vacation mode. Those guys are on it. They were crafting like crazy. We did three projects in like like four hours. It was insane. Maybe five hours. But then we also ate. <laughs> it was so nice. Then we went to dinner. There was a lot of eating involved. But when I came home, I was so relieved that I had not. I uh, I gained like three pounds, and I had lost five before I left. So I was. I was okay with it, but I need to, you know, keep going. But it's the holidays. I'm not going to go crazy. So, all right. So let's let that set for a minute. And now I want to try this embossing idea. Okay. So what I was thinking was, here's a brown, and that matches, I mean, pretty well. So what I want to do is... This is an experiment. I have not tried this. It's just pretty thick cardstock. So I want to get my folder and just come 
off a piece of cardstock. And I'm going to wet this if I have my thing. Uh oh, here it is. Yeah, I think this does need to relax a little bit, this paper, because it's pretty. The only thing is, when I do that, it sometimes warps. So let's see. All right. Hey, Naomi, you don't do presents? We're doing Kris Kringle and, okay, whatever you call it, good names. So that's what I was ordering today. That I should have done sooner. Oops. All right, so if you're wondering how this works, you just need one folder and one cutting pad and your platform. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to. Ah, that was not the idea that I was going to do. But you know what? I have enough of the paper. Let me roll one through and let's see what it looks like. I hope that it doesn't split. This is really pretty thick. Let's see what happens. We can try. Oops, it's coming out the other end. We can try the other technique. I have more paper. Ooh, but this is looking really cool. Well, I might want to just do the luster wax. Hmm. I wish I hadn't done that because now I have to pick. All right, here. <laughs> look at this. That's cool. Oh, look at how clear that is. And that is going to fit exactly along here on the top and bottom. So what I'm going to do is just cut it and I'll do like... Yeah, probably three panels of this will be perfect. And I'll glue it on the top and the bottom, you know, and it's just going to fit. The silverware on a recipe box. I mean, could it be more perfect? <laughs> All these little things are exciting. All right, let's try the other idea, which is I want to see... I'm probably going to go that way save myself some, yeah. Let's hope that's about half. All right, so my other idea was to take some brown ink. This is going to mess up my folder. It's going to get it dirty, but that's all right. And I want this to go like a relief. Well, you'll see. I'm going to ink the stuff that's on the top, and then these are going to pop up, all right? So I'm just rubbing my ink on my folder, I'm getting it pretty wet. Oh, this is good because it's got a pretty good bit of ink on it. And now I'm going to take my paper. Now I have not wet this, but we'll see what happens. That'll be another good, good test. Oh, look at that. It's going to be hard to beat that. Isn't that amazing? It looks like leather, doesn't it? All right, let's try this one. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is going to be even better. Who knows? Ugh. Thank you, Jody. Hi, Cindy. Ooh, this is this is thick paper, I'll tell you. Ow! All right. Oh, that is all right. That's the winner, don't you think? What do you guys think? This one or that one? I I like that background. So look at how that's going to be on here. Oh, and then I think I'll cut it so there are some edges. I might put something in here or maybe ink it with brown to just kind of soften that a little. What do you guys think? Look how clean that is. 
Oh, and then maybe a little touch of luster wax. What do you think? What do you think about that? Maybe some rose gold or regular or silver. I don't even know. I think a warm color, so maybe not silver. All right, well, think about that. I still like this, and I'm going to do something else with this, and I'm going to go lay it flat right over here. All right, so let's do a couple more panels of this technique. Ah, loving it. All right, let's, let's trim the thing of this off. I'm so lazy. I don't even want to cut my scissors. And then I think we can go this way is perfect. Yes. I don't know if that's going to fit two of them, but that's all right. All right, and we didn't ink that, I mean, we didn't wet that, so I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. Always luster wax. <laughs> yeah. Copper, rose gold, you think? You like the inked one, rose gold? Okay. Looks good. I No wax? All right, let's see what it looks like, and maybe we'll do wax and maybe not. I mean, we might just be good with it the way it is. I, I could deal with that. It's so easy, just rubbing the whole thing on here. All right, that one is too little, so that's okay. Um, I think I did the textured side down. I'm not really sure, though. I wasn't paying attention to that. All right. It's sticking up. Man, that is thick paper. Oh. All right, I'm not going to let it spin around and hit me again, though. Yep. Another winner. Okay, now that does look a little different. Well, maybe not. That's great. And it's, you know what? It's dry and it's flat. That's because I didn't add the water, but I guess the ink... Now, there are a couple spots here that I didn't get, but, I mean, overall, that's crazy amazing. All right. One more. This one. So, hopefully, this is enough for the whole box. And I'm going to make sure that I get it. Wow. Just now, I think I'm going to do that. I can't really tell which side is bumpy. They're both pretty bumpy. So maybe it doesn't even matter. All right. One more. And we can put it together. I'm loving this. I don't know. Whoever said no luster wax. I'm not sure I can, I can do it. I think I might have to try it. But... I did want it to be kind of vintage-y, so maybe this is more... I don't want it to be boring, though. A little pop of luster wax. You can't go wrong. Try the wax colors on a scrap. Yes, good idea. Okay, let's get our three. Yep, another winner. Oh, yeah, and you know, most of it came off. Let me do... Let's just do one more so we can practice. All right, and see which one we like. If we want the luster wax or not, can't hurt. I can always use that on a card or something else. And you do want to have a pad that's pretty juicy. This is archival brown ink. All 
I like to put the fold up first. I don't know if it matters, but I always do that. of copper understated I know that's what I don't I don't want to go crazy with it because I mean I thought about doing red and I thought that would be cool too but then you could be pretty bright and but this with the you know vintagey idea I don't know all right let's let's get our luster wax all right here's our these are our choices. I think the gold would be pretty too, but this kind of is warm and also it would blend a little better. What if you ink the other side? Oh, well that would be interesting. You wouldn't see it on the finished, but we could try it. All right, I'm gonna try not to get it on my hands because it's so messy. It's one thing. So I'm going to try it with my sponge here, which has like a super huge coat of it. All right, let's try it on here first. See what happens. I bet it's cool. And it is. You know, that's one look. All right. Let's just do a little bit over here. I'm thinking even just... Well, that's not too intrusive you know what do you guys think it does stand out would be cute using Tim Holtz lumberjack red with an embossing folder line recipe box with a red check or aqua check hey Tanya you think they tell you to put the fold through first oh okay <laughs> I did something that's recommended that's good all right let's do a little down here well, I don't think that looks too out of character for, I mean, it's pretty either way. It might be a little more detailed like that because it is bumpy. You know what I mean? So this way you don't have, I don't know. What do you guys think? You meant, oh, on the embossing folder. Ah, you know, I don't know if that would come out. This stuff is crazy. Once you get it, see, I didn't even put it on my hands, and I have it somehow. Um, I'm not sure it would come out. My trip was great, Tanya. Hold closer to camera. Okay. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell where to go. There. Am I right? What do you think? She meant... The ink on the other side of the folder. Oh, okay, Laura. All right, got it. Yeah, we could try that. Yeah, then it would emboss. You like that? You like it without. I kind of like it without, too. All right, so let's go with that. Because, you know, we do do luster wax on everything. You want to just do an experiment with the ink on the other side while we have it dirty anyway? Let's just give it a try. And I have one more piece of paper, so... And, you know, these would be pretty on anything. So now this is going to press the design into the paper. Charlotta, I like how you think. I don't always understand it. So I need someone to translate since I have a vacation brain. And I'm not quite with it yet. All right, let's see what this does. That's intriguing. All right. It's like another use for the folder? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! And it's so subtle. That's what I like about it. And also, if you put it at an angle, the folder, it kind of eases in a little, unless it's sticking out. That feels a lot less painful. <laughs> Add water to the ink for watercolor look. Well, 
Pat's cool too. All right, let's see. All right, it's this side. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I got enough ink in there, but look at that. It's a whole different look. Isn't that cool? I mean, if you did like gray on white, you would have like gray silverware. What do you think of that? Good job. It is going to print emboss the positive. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I either way, they're pretty, you know? And this is brown on brown. You're going to get all different kinds of results going different ways. You know what I like about here? Look at how that bowl kind of came into, got dimensional of the spoon. Oh, yeah, did it here too. And there, yeah. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, let's put our box together. We could play all day. Look at that. I would, you know, that would be cool in a book because you can see both sides. Oh, I'm just loving that. Mm. All right. I'm, I'm so happy to be home that I have all my tools. All right. So let's just trim this off and get these on here. So I think what I'm going to do is just figure out how big an area I want. I kind of want to leave a little around the edges, but maybe not. Maybe I want to cover that. Five and a quarter. This is ready now. All right. Let's just make sure this fits. Yeah. Snug. Actually, it's perfect. Okay. So we're just going to put a panel on here. So we need to trim this down. Let me get my little trimmer. Spill the whole thing of soda here on my pants everywhere before. Ugh. So it might have to be a little bit shorter. We'll do all of them. And I think we want to keep them the same edges so it kind of looks like a continuing pattern. That wouldn't really matter, but might as well. Okay. And let's chop off this and see well, let's see how much we need here. I'm just gonna mark it out with a pencil because it's just easier than measuring. Alright. Well I think it, we're gonna go right to the top here. Pretty much All right, let's see. It's a little over four. Yeah. And that would even cover these areas here, you know, that are... And we could just take... I think I have a brown marker. Let's see. Whoa. Pretty good. Just to take away the really bright, you know. Oh, I don't want to get it. Oh, I'm going to cover it anyway. I don't have to worry. Yay. Just in case it doesn't quite cover all the way. Let me have it done ahead of time. 
and you could even use luster wax in here. Sorry, it's taking concentration to not mess this up. I think my wash is done. So I guess I'm home. Oh well. It was good. I mean, somebody cooking every night, that was amazing. And I don't even cook, but I mean, these guys were like, we went to the dining room every night because our friends are fancy and they, they really like that. We usually go, there's like a wind jammer, which is the, you know, buffet line and we kind of do that, but it was nice to sit there and just talk and eat and go to the show. Uh, you know, these would make a nice gift. I'm thinking for my daughters. Not that I have many, many recipes to give them, but like mom's apple pie and those are good. <laughs> but you could put anything in here. You could do like a nice little gift like a you know use it as a gift box and just you know have this like the top off or you know sitting on the top like that and put stuff in here like the hot chocolate or whatever you wanted to uh I got shifted around sorry about that I don't even know when that happened all right this is good so let's Let's trim this down. Sorry, I've gotten a little dazed there, just <laughs> coloring. And... All right, so these are our three. So we want to trim off. I don't want it to go exactly up to the top. I don't want it to hmm, actually. All right. I'm going to have to do this like custom each one. That's all right. I'm going to trim a little of this off. This is too much of this, you know, empty pattern here. So I just wanted to trim a little bit of that off. And the good thing is it's, it's brown, so it's going to just blend in, you know. Yeah, I did a little short there, but that's all right. I'm loving this. What do you guys think? Do you have this dye? You might want it. All right. There's really a lot you can do with it. And if you have some of the older, I can't see where I put my little thing. Um, it also will hold if you are lucky enough to get the little notebook die, it holds that too. And the stacking drawer. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue that on right now so we know where things stand. Sorry this is long, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm so glad it worked. I've been thinking about this. It's like, yeah, I didn't want to try that. And this was a good dye. All right. So now we want to match up. Yeah, I think that's the one. Because this piece is going to go up here. 
and then it will look like it's connected. That light is making me sweat. I did get a little sunburn the last day. We were just sitting in the sun like, oh, I can't leave. I can't go. But I didn't get burned, painfully burned. Painfully. So that's not fun. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. More than this. I'm going to look at what you're saying in a minute. Looking good. I love this because the lid matches perfectly. If you use pattern paper, that's true. Lisa's very good at matching them. I did leave a little bit of a gap here, but I can ink that. That's fine. You get the idea. Actually, I should probably move that up a little, but I'm afraid to mess with it now. This is pretty thick paper, but I think on the next one, I am going to bring that up to the top. I kind of didn't want to, but... I think I do want to now. All right. So now we're going to pick another side. So I'm going to trim a little bit up here. It's kind of, it's kind of raggedy. Okay. And I'm going to trim a little up here. You guys see? Okay. Just trim it a little bit. Can't see it. It's like not reflecting. And then I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna chop the one piece. How perfectly did that match up? And then I'm just going to chop this and I'm just going to glue them both on. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm kind of measuring and chopping as I go. sure I get the yeah look at that how perfect all right that's a good good way to go I might still take that other one off but we'll see that could be the back though actually all right this one will do just right it's already cut to this Perfect size. I'm just going to trim a little off the edge here. And then Okay. Let's see. What do you guys think? You're gonna make one? I love this. It, it's not, it's kind of understated, but I'm good with that. I mean, it's vintagey. I mean, you could do like a, you know, you could do it with the decoupage and napkins and the, you know, the um, cookbook pages. That would be cute too. But I am loving this. So elegant, really. I still can't decide about the um, the wax, but I don't think so. Yeah. 
and you really don't get much time to fiddle with this, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that's, that is good. All right, one more side. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at how perfect that fits. Man, this is, this is too good to be true. I say that and then I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> All right, not that hard, guys. You only need three panels. Just works out that way. I may do some kind of pull on the top, though. I have to think about that. Yeah. Oh. Can you even see this after all I've been... Yeah, now on the sides, I may... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't do the top. Should I do the top? Probably. Well, well I have this one. Oh, that's our experiment. Oh, but that looks pretty good. Wait, this one I didn't... Is it this one? Oh, that was the practice. Well, I mean, I could just chop that off. What do you guys think? I don't know what to think about the wax. I could just wax the top and emboss the spoon in folder. All right, wait a minute. Emboss the spoon. Vintage embossed leather. That does look like that. This is a little bit high here. So I don't know. Oh, that wouldn't be hard to trim. Hang on. <laughs> oh, Leslie. Just a quick little haircut here. Get it? No, don't do it hard enough. Okay. And I could just. Oh, that's kind of cool. Sand down the edges. top off. Hang on. I want to keep them even. Maybe I need the brown pen a little bit more too. What do you think about the top guys? Do I need to do the top? What if I put a lid up here? Let's see that's kind of not finished. It's beautiful you could Blue brown satin and ribbon up on the edges. Yeah, it does need something along here. Hmm. I'll have to look through and see what I have. All right. Well, this is the main idea of what I wanted to try today. So I'm happy with this. I will tell you that. I wish that I had move that up a little bit more and I still might do that but I might not <laughs> I don't want to ruin it big deal you can hardly notice these are perfect maybe like some brown shoe polish or something on the sides I don't know I'm just just spitballing here I don't know what do you guys think put your pen back in your glue I know I'm looking for it Lisa oh here it is Yep, because that will just dry that thing right up. Okay. Teacup, spoon, embossed, and bent on top for handle. Oh, yeah. But do you think that I should do one more of these up here? I feel like I should. What do you guys think? Is that too much? 
Thank you, Lisa. Teacup die spoon. Yeah. How cool would an actual Ben spoon be? That would be cool. And I have a ton of collectible silver. I don't know if silver would go. Maybe a silver spoon with some luster wax on it. I don't know how that would work. Oh, I think I do want to finish this, guys. You know, just like this. Maybe I'll just do it right now. Why not? If I don't like it, I, I'll lay it up there. If I don't like it, I'll take it off. All right. Got to measure this right, though. I think right over here. Well, this is too wide. I think I want to center that so these spoon things are just here. So let me just trim these down first. Ah. I can't see that mark. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay. Bent teaspoon with wires wrapped around the handle with beads because it is more better. Ah, uh, I don't want to go too far. This is supposed to be vintagey, but I don't know. That sounds pretty cool. And you can see a little bit of. Oh, let me trim off a little bit more. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Much better, don't you think? It's got to lay flat. But yeah. A bent spoon for a handle is, wait a minute, I have some. They're little baby spoons. What did I do with them? I think I put them upstairs. All right, I, I'll have to, all right, I'll find them, guys. I'll let you know what I do with this. All right, I'll put a picture up in the group. Now I want to finish it. I really want to do this, especially for Christmas. And those little spritz cookies that we always made. The chocolate crinkles. What did you guys make? Cut out cookies. All cookies are good. I did miss cookies. I didn't really have that many. Teresita sent some home, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Ah, look at that. Yeah, maybe something in here. Well, I'm glad I did the marker, but it still needs something. And let's put our little, little dividers in. I kind of wish I'd done the inside, but, you know, you can go crazy with it. And then these. And then I'm just going to photocopy and I'm going to put them on here. Maybe shrink them down if I need to. Oh, look at that. All right, now hopefully these are still going to work. Yep, okay, we're good. Still works, but it's pretty tight. I made them five and a quarter, or five and an eighth, so it does work, but it's pretty close. There. Yay! Oh, I put the wrong side on. See? Look at that. So we do have to make sure to get... You know, line it up before this. There. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm so glad you guys came along with me and gave your advice. <laughs> That's amazing. This, this Gotillos? I'm not sure what those are. 
I'm, I will. I'll talk to Diana to make some more lemon cake. Oh, man, that cake was so good. Teresita, I brought it home. We had a big meal. We went out to eat, and then I came home, and I had to try it. And I ate probably half of the cake. I mean, it wasn't huge. It was probably like that big and little, but it had lemon icing. It was amazing. And then I ate the rest for breakfast. Wedding balls. Okay. You have endless advice. Yes, you do. <laughs> good. Well, it wouldn't be this good without you guys. So I'm loving this. Oh, it's so solid, you know? All right, I think I do need to do something here. Either do more brown or something, like a filler, you know? Just because of the embossing, you can see it's kind of bumpy. So nothing big, but... Okay, gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Good, Cindy, I'm glad you came. Yeah, all right, good. You guys all like it. Now, do you, who, how many people have this die? Because you can make one. And, I mean, this is just this folder. I mean, wouldn't it be pretty with sweater? You do the sweater one and put knitting patterns or little stitch cards, like sample cards inside or uh, all kinds of stuff. This Cochitos are sort of like shortbread with anise flavoring. Mm, always made with lard. Wow. We had some anise shots, which were very heartwarming. <laughs> they just gave them to it. Gave them to us. You have the dye. All right, Teresita, Teresita had some. Teresita, you should put the, take pictures of those that you did. I mean, they're pretty much the exact opposite of this. They're so pretty and happy. <laughs> oh, hi, Ellie. How are you? I don't have it yet, but you think it's in your future. You have the sweater folder, but need the dye. Okay, well, we've got that. Yes, Lisa. I saw Lisa, uh, Lisa Rojas's foil truck. Yes, I was just watching it before. Yeah, I do have some foil. I have a good bit of foil, actually. I just don't use it that much, but I need to. You have it, Charlotta? Okay. Well, let's all do a project with it and get this get this going again because this is a fun die i mean it holds index cards how much better can it be you know oh now look at this this stuff is getting on my gotta be careful with it and now it's getting on here ah i should have cleaned that off i didn't do it all right that die is a must-have. You need it. All right, Teresita has spoken. <laughs> it is a good one. I mean, it's a box, you know, that you can put your index cards or journaling cards. Or the journaling cards actually go this way. You know, if you have three by four journaling cards, you can do a whole thing of them. I should show you some more that I did. Um, I had done a class for Susan at C Country View Crafts. And it was a really cool project. And so I'll teach that again because that was just so much fun. It's you you do it so that the lid snaps on with elastic. It it's kind of cool. All right. I oh whoa, it's after five, a lot after five. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and thanks for welcoming me back. Fine. And I'd had a great time in Puerto Rico, Ellie. It is very versatile. Yes. You, yeah, just for storage. I mean, even just white ones. I have a whole tray of one of level of my, um, what do you call them? Ikea carts. You know, those, I uh, can't remember the name of them. But, they, you know, they have the three levels and wheels around. And I have a whole thing that has these. And then I have journaling cards. I have index cards. I have all kinds of stuff just in the tops, you know, just lined up in that cart and they fit just nice. And, uh, I love them for organizing. Yeah. You do have to make sure you get them right. But look at that. Yes. All right. I'll let you know what happens. I'll put up a picture in the fan club. Okay. 
All right, everybody. Thank you. Yes, I'm so glad to be home. And Karen, thank you for doing the uh, Etsy store and the live. That was great. I, I couldn't believe it. I watched it. It's like, good for you, Karen Beers. <laughs> and um, I appreciate you getting those uh, out and on their way before Christmas. Eileen is coming back to Puerto Rico. I am. We have to start planning. And you guys have to come too if you want. You would love it. And Teresita is such a, an amazing hostess. And she will just make you feel so comfortable like she did for me. And uh, her friends are great. So, um, yeah. It was fun, scary, stressful, fun. <laughs> That's how I felt today. Because I could not get it. I couldn't get on. But then I figured out that... Um, I wasn't hooked up to my headphones, and that's why I had that echo. So I was happy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I will see you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when I'll see you. Maybe over the weekend. Uh, my husband's going away, so I'm going to try it. I had all these projects that I wanted to do, just quick little, little, like, tips and ideas for quick projects, and I didn't get them done before I left, so I will try Karen says, Scotland first. All right, we'll have to see. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good weekend, guys, and we will see you next week, next Tuesday for sure, if not sooner. Okay? Thank you. See you soon. Bye.